If you want to transform your life, you have got to become the observer of what you want. You have to learn how to harness and shift your energy. This video simplifies the process using two scales that you can use at any time and in any situation. And I promise you, that is all you have to do to get what you want. Choose what you focus on, because each choice creates an experience. The quantum field is waiting to be observed by you. So keep observing. Keep observing with detail until it fills every cell in your body in the way that you want to feel. So before we jump in to the simple steps, I just wanna share with you guys a belief that I have. If you wanna skip this section, go ahead. That's why I put the chapters down in the bottom. So I have a very strong belief. Well, first of all, I believe that the things that we desire, it's because we are actually experiencing that version of ourselves on a different timeline. I think the reason why we feel that we want that love story or we feel that we want to be that person in business or we feel we want to have that body is because there is a version of ourselves that is experiencing it on a different timeline and we're all interconnected and that's why we feel it so deeply within us. Like, I really, really want this. I crave this. I desire this. I believe it's because we are actually experiencing it somewhere else. I also believe that we are jumping timelines consistently, and that's why I think that leveling up is actually a lot easier than we think it is. We complicate it. I know I've leveled up my life a lot, and I know that there's a moment, and you might experience this too, where you're trying to shift, but you've been the other person for so long that you just know her, she's easy, like you know how to navigate that girl. But then when you wanna change and become a better version of yourself to have a better life experience, you have to let go of a lot of that person. And sometimes, depending upon where you go, who you hang out with, that girl will be triggered to resurface. Meaning the minute you are triggered to speak from the old you or to act like the old you based on the people from that timeline pulling you into it you have to hold steady and decide no this is who i'm going to be and you'll let them fall off and that's oftentimes when people will be like what happened to you it used to be so fun oh my god what happened to you like i've got a lot of that in my self-improvement journey so you have to be ready for that stuff and you remain steadfast in the version of you that you want to be okay that is my rampage about why i believe we're jumping timelines I truly believe in those moments, those are actually different timelines because the better version of you is hanging out in better places, knows different people, having different conversations. She's navigating life differently. It's a totally different experience, meaning timeline. So the first step to transforming your life is understanding energy. You have to understand that our thoughts and our beliefs equal energy, and this energy creates a frequency. So if thoughts and beliefs become energy and we want to learn how to harness and shift our energy we have to learn how to harness and shift our thoughts and being that majority of us are working with negative thoughts most of the time i'm going to share with you guys the two scales that you can use any time to shift any negative thought so we're using the scale of polarity and the emotional guidance scale and i have to say that the emotional guidance scale made me feel so much better about my self-development journey because i had no idea until i looked at it that anger actually isn't that bad <laughs> it's actually guilt and shame that are way worse so if you've ever done anything wrong get mad about it because you're not too far away from feeling good about it once anger comes so since we're talking about the emotional guidance scale, let's just go ahead and stay focused on this one for a second. So if you do something wrong, if something doesn't go your way, and maybe you're feeling guilty about it or shameful about it, get mad about it. And then when you get mad about it, start blaming someone. And then when you start blaming someone, just keep going through the emotions. And I know this probably isn't the typical advice that you get, but believe it or not, anger is better than feeling guilty and actually blame is better than feeling anger and then we all know that after something has been talked about and just beat to a pulp you get so sick of talking about it you're just bored that's even better because you are right at the tip of crossing over to the sweet spot of the emotional scale. That's why it's so important that you guys download this and look at it because it'll make you feel so much better. The emotional guidance scale simplifies healing by showing us where emotions fall on the spectrum. Obviously, there's more to it than this. Obviously, there's accountability and all kinds of things, but I'm just saying we need to learn how to move our emotions around. Start learning how to move and dance with your emotions, but also know which way you're directing them. Reference this scale. 
when you're in a mood, when you're mad, when something's happened, reference this scale and find a way to move up it, okay? So if you're stuck with anything, tell me what it is and I will tell you how to climb the emotional scale. I'll tell you exactly what actions to take to climb the emotional guidance scale. Tip number two is utilizing the scale of polarity and this really is proof that life is abstract art. So the scale of polarity shows us that negative and positive energies are not separate. They're part of a greater whole. I have always said behind every negative thought is a positive intention. Behind every negative thought is the trigger we need to motivate us in to a positive direction. Finding the positive intention is how you shift your energy. Finding the positive intention is how you raise your frequency. Finding the positive intention is how you observe what you want and move in that direction. So we need a constant feedback loop to refine our life to get exactly what we want. Nothing is playing against us, especially like if you think of dating and looking for love these days. You can call it in if you can decide what you want and only focus on what you want. So let me give you an example. If you go on a date and you're like, I know what I want and this isn't it, but I bet you that person has something. And then having that experience and maybe just having that one part of the person's personality, whatever that be, affirms that, yeah, I do want that, but I also need this, this, and this. And that is fine. That is why it is called dating because you are essentially data collecting. You take what you want and you move on and you constantly refine it, refine it, and refine it until you find the man that you're gonna marry. And you do the same thing in every aspect of your life, whether it's your social circles, whether it's your body goals, everything you do is constant data collecting, creating some type of feedback loop. I just wanna give you guys one more example so that you really understand how to harness and shift your energy by using the scale of polarity. So any negative trigger is there to move you into the positive intention. So let's say that you are stressed out about a deadline at work, like some goal you have to reach at work. What is the positive intention behind that? It moves you to start working earlier. It moves you to manage your time better. So these negative signals are actually moving you into a better version of yourself with every shift you're evolving. With every shift, your energy is changing. With every shift, you're becoming a better version of yourself. And every micro shift is an evolution of you. It's moving you into a better version of yourself to get the life that you want. The problem is most people that get these negative triggers, they just sit there and they talk about the trigger. They talk about the trigger. They marinate in it. Trigger, 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 signal, signal, signal. They do nothing and that is why life stands still and nothing changes. They are holding their reality in place because no matter how miserable, no matter how much shit goes wrong, they refuse to look at the positive intention. Everything is your choice. Where are you going to place your focus? Always remember you guys that negative thoughts prompt actions and reflections, guiding us through our own evolution. And this aligns with my belief that I was babbling about in the beginning, that our desires connect us to versions of ourselves on different timelines. All we have to do is remain steadfast on the vision of what we want, use the negative feedback loops to course correct and move into our own evolution. That is all leveling up is. You can become her if you practice to be her. Use these two guidance scales, use them. Learn the emotional guidance scale. That thing has been a lifesaver for me. It's been actually quite funny, especially when it came to blame. I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna blame the fucking cat. And then I just, you know, you talk about something so much, you get bored. It's just, it's really good to reference that scale and please try to have a little fun with it because this is supposed to be fun. Lighten the load and then use the scale of polarity. Use your negative feelings, your negative emotions. Find the positive intention. I have always said behind every negative thought, is a positive intention. Negative thoughts are not obstacles. They are stepping stones towards growth. With every shift, you're becoming a better version of yourself. And every micro shift is an evolution of you. It's moving you into a better version of yourself to get the life that you want. I am Angela Jean and I am back every Wednesday. If you have any questions, any comments, anything you wanna know, like I said, put it in the description box below and I will answer you publicly. Till next week, have a good weekend.